Hello and welcome to section 5, Installing the Horizon View Infrastructure Components. In this section, we're going to take a closer look at getting your Horizon View environment up and running using the Example Lab environment. So what we're going to learn in this section? In this section, we're going to install the Horizon View software, starting with the View Composer server and configuring the View Composer database. Next, we will install the connection server and complete the initial configuration tasks, such as ensuring the license has been added and configuring the vCenter server information. We will then move on to installing a replica server, a security server, and then an enrollment server. We will finish the section by looking at the steps required to configure the infrastructure to be able to take advantage of GPU hardware in the host server so that you can deliver high end hardware accelerated graphics to the virtual desktop machines. And finally, we will initialize and configure the Cloud Pod architecture feature. So now let's move on to the first video of this section and install the first component of our Horizon View Example Lab environment, View Composer. In this video, we're going to install the Horizon View Composer server along with configuring the associated View Composer database. Before we do, there are just a couple of prerequisites that you need to make sure you have in place first. These are around the configuration requirements of the Composer server itself. The View Composer server needs to be built with the following requirements. We need to be running Windows Server 2008, 2012 or 2016 as our operating system. We need to have Microsoft SQL Server available either 2008, 2012, 2014, 32 bits or 64 bits are supported. Or alternatively, we could use Oracle 12C. The virtual machine needs four virtual CPUs and 8 gig of RAM if we're going to host more than 50 users. As this is an example lab environment, that's not too important at this stage, but it is when we come to do a final design. We also need a minimum of 60 gig disk space for the installation itself. So this is the virtual machine that's already been built to this spec during the installation and setup part of this course, including the installation of the SQL database. Now we're going to install our Horizon View Composer software onto our Horizon View Composer server. So it may seem a little odd that we're going to install the View Composer before we've even installed our first connection server. But the reason we're going to do it in this order is that because during the initial configuration of the first connection server, under the vCenter server configuration option, it's going to ask for some details about the View Composer server. So this is so that the View Connection server can connect to Composer. So it makes sense to have the Composer and all of its details ready so we can input them straight into our connection server. So in the example lab, View Composer is going to be installed on this standalone server here. However, you could install it directly onto the vCenter server if the vCenter server was the Windows-based version. The standalone Composer in this instance is used for scalability, but also when you have the vCenter server appliance deployed. As the vCenter server appliance is a Linux-based machine and the Composer software is Windows-based, then obviously it cannot be installed onto that appliance. So as part of the installation, the first thing we've done on this Horizon View Composer server is we've installed SQL. And if we go into our SQL Server Studio, we can see that we've created a couple of databases ready for our Horizon environment. So if we look under databases here, we can see we have a View Composer database, which we'll use shortly in our View Composer installation. And also we've got a View Events database that we will configure once we've installed our first connection server for our view events. So to log all the uh, details that are going on within inside our view connection server. So now we've got our SQL already and set up, we can go ahead and start to install the composer software. So we're going to find that first. So in our example lab environment, we copied all of the software into a shared folder onto our domain controller. We call this VMware software horizon 7.2. And then with the different pieces of software here we scroll down and we find VMware View Composer 7.2.0 the last number here the 5652634 is the build number that may vary depending on the build that you have downloaded so to launch we're simply going to double click and we can now launch our installation so now our composer installer is launching we just close down the Explorer folder at the back there. So now we see our VMware Horizon 7 Composer. Welcome to the installation wizard. So we can click next on this first screen. And then the next screen we see is our end user license agreement or EULA. So we're going to accept that and then click on the next button. And then we have our destination folder. So where are we going to install this? By default, 
it goes into program files x86 vmware vmware view composer you can change that if you want we'll leave that for default in the example lab click next to continue so now we need to tell the view composer where our database is so here's our database information so we need to enter the data source name or dsn for our horizon 7 composer database we haven't got a dsn as yet so the first thing we're going to do is click the odbc dsn setup button and then we see our data source administrator so we're going to go for a system dsn so we click on that particular tab then we click on add and then we see our create new data source box pop up we're going to choose the driver that we want to use so the sql server native client 11.0 we click on finish and then what do we want to refer to this data source as so we're going to give it a name so in this case we're going to call it view composer because it's our view composer database you can give it a description if you want to and then basically we need to tell it where that server is so that server is this server so it's our hzn 7 com slash sql express and click on next how should sql verify the authenticity of the user login so we're going to go with our sql server admin authentication so our login for that is sa and then we type in the sa password once we've done that we can click the next button we're going to leave this screen as all the defaults we click on the next button and then on this screen as well we're going to just go with the defaults and then finish so now we can see a new odbc data source will be created with the following configuration before we do that we're just going to click test data source just to make sure that we can communicate with our sql database so here we can see we attempt connection established verifying options and test completed successfully so we know we can talk to the database so we click ok and then we click on ok here and now we've finished our setup on there so here we can click ok as well and that drops us straight back to our horizon 7 composer setup screen or our wizard again so now we can type in here our odbc dsn which was view composer so the name we gave it we know the username was sa and then we type in our sa password in the box and then we can click next to continue so now we can change the soap ports so we're going to leave that as default uh, certificates we're going to cover in a later section so there is no ssl certificate here so it's just going to create its own standalone certificate for now we click next and then finally we see the ready to install the program so it says a wizard is ready to begin installation so we're going to drop the files into this file structure these folders if we need to change anything here we can click on back and go back and change but we're all happy with that we can click the install button and then the composer software gets installed so now we've finished so installer completed we can click the finish button and then we see the box saying you must restart the system for any changes to be made so that's to launch the services on reboot so we click yes to reboot the server so now our server has rebooted we can log back in so log in as administrator we just wait for the server to finish booting loading our profile preparing windows now when you log back in you're not going to see anything much has changed for example there's no icons on the desktop there's nothing on the start menu to say that composer has been installed and that's purely because the view composer is a service so if we want to check that everything is, is running as expected then we can launch the services window so type there services.msc we can launch our services so here's our services running on this server just wait for that to load Let's expand that out and if we scroll down we should see our vmware section and here we can see our vmware 7 composer it's automatic and if we look at the description there it'll tell us provides vmware scalable virtual images services with horizon 7 composer so that completes our installation of Horizon 7 Composer.